All right guys, welcome to the channel and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to pretty much make anything aluminum shine like crazy. Like crazy? No, shine like the sun. No, shine, what the hell is shiny? Um, Shine like my forehead on a hot day. No, what the hell is shiny? What is shiny? All right guys, <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how to make aluminum shiny. <laughs> Let's get into today's video. All right, so before we actually get into the process of how we're gonna make um, the aluminum shine, you first, you have to clean it, and we're gonna need a few things to actually do that. So behind me, we have some very, very good cleanup, which is uh, Purple Power, which is pretty much a degreaser, but um, it's been highly recommended to work on aluminum. Also, I would recommend getting some shop towels or some clean rags, and um, you're gonna also need some mothers or anything that's uh, mag and aluminum polish you can see it right there and a clean microfiber cloth that's for uh when we go to buff this thing all right so that's everything you need now i'm going to be showing you guys what we're actually going to be cleaning we're going to be cleaning this hair engine block and i know that's a pretty like uh daunting piece of aluminum to actually shine that is my four valve 4.6 liter all aluminum block so it should shine once we get it clean and start rubbing that mothers into it so i'm gonna push this block outside we're gonna spray on the degreaser let it sit for a little while and then we're gonna try to attempt to scrub it or wipe it just to get all that oil off of it and we have to get the surface very clean so i'm probably gonna clean it a few times and then we're gonna start the process with the mothers so you got the block as clean as possible and if you look it, it's looking dry that's how it's supposed to look once you have it all cleaned out and pretty much this is going to be the only part of the motor that you're going to be able to see don't forget if we flip it over the intake manifold sits on top of all of that but i'm still going to polish it um i'm just letting you guys know what is priority so to see the difference between when we use mothers and when we don't use mothers i'm going to polish one entire side and then i'm going to show you guys um pretty much a before and after of how this thing looks
all right guys so now we have the block nice and clean now we're gonna start using the mother's mag and aluminum polish this is right here and you don't need much of this you just need this and a nice clean microfiber towel and what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold up this towel into a size that is easy for you to work with so I'm just gonna fold it a few times something like that something where I could like use a finger and get it in because this isn't a flat surface so um, you don't need much so that should be pretty much a lot and um, you just start rubbing it back and forth now this rubbing process is not one about pressure it's just about consistently rubbing so we're gonna rub it on we're gonna keep rubbing it in as you see it dry up you get a little bit more keep rubbing it in and you keep doing this until you get the desired uh, shine that you're looking for but you also want to watch for a black residue that's going to a player a pair from this and you got you just keep applying it and keep applying it until you get the desired shine that you're looking for so i'm going to do this complete side and then i'll show you guys the difference between the back side and this side that we're going to do now Right, guys so i've been polishing the other side for maybe like maybe 10 15 minutes and this is the side that was just cleaned as you can see it's, it has some grain on it and it's just looking like it's in rough shape um definitely i didn't get the other side as shiny as i thought it would be but it is night and freaking day so this is the other side and that is just incredible that's crazy. I thought it was going to be like more of like, you know, that finish that's usually be on like utensils, like forks and spoons and stuff like that. But think about it. That's the interior of the motor brown. And that is the polished side. That is just beautiful. So that's pretty much how you get your aluminum shiny. And it's just that simple. All right, guys, there you have it. And that's how you get any piece of aluminum nice and freaking shiny. This is a block and there you see it. 
Um, this was actually pretty challenging because of all of those little nooks and crannies that the block has. But in any case, if it's a flat piece of metal, if it's if it's just any piece of aluminum, the same thing stands for the process. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Always remember, don't drift without your dreams. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.